optional multi-speed 72 by 72 gearbox, enabling this tractor to easily keep up with two Deutz Bar top liner combines while corn carting. A push button panel is part of the armrest for the control of the rear linkage, and another option that is available is a CCTV camera at the rear, displaying an image of following implements so that the driver can concentrate on what's going on in front rather than behind him. The fast track was conceived as a fast haulage tractor, but as can be seen here, is quite capable of carrying out some of the most arduous of agricultural tasks. A six furrow Dowdsville plough proves no problem for the biggest in the range, the Cummins powered 170 horsepower 3185. The 3000 series fast tracks are fitted with the widest cabs of any tractor and there is plenty of room for a passenger to sit in comfort next to the driver. On the front axle and it has suspension on the back of the cab as well so that the driver can have a very comfortable ride. More importantly though is the main feature of this cab, uh, this, this tractor, which is the, the transmission. Yeah, of course. Um, it literally goes for anything from zero to the maximum speed with any speed at any ratio. There are no uh, independent gear ratios in it at all. Uh, thus, it enables the driver to select an exact speed, a precise speed. Rolling is certainly an easy job for a 160 horsepower tractor, but just look at the width of these rolls. The new 6020 Premium Series tractors from John Deere have certainly upped the styling states. The square, rather plain lines of the 6000 and 6010 Series machines have given way to a sleek, dynamically styled bonnet and a new cab with more work lights and curves where there were no curves before. The 6920S is a 6920 with extra. It comes with 160 horsepower instead of 150, triple link suspension 2 on the front axle, hydraulic cab suspension, auto power automatic transmission and command arm console. In other words, range she comes out about 325 horsepower. That's a lot of power for a tired tractor, a lot of traction to get down. Um, there's several ways that we get around this um, power to get the power down to the ground. One of the ways is the engine is fairly far forward. In fact, the engine of the tractor is right over the front axle. It's an 8.1 litre engine. So a lot of weight over the front axle and the rear axle balances the tractor nicely. So you've got about a 50-50 split between weight. So it, it gets the power down to the ground very, very well indeed. And I hear this tractor's got a very, very clever transmission system. OK, this tractor is closer to a Ferrari racing car than anything else you'll see. Really? It's actually got an 18-speed Tiptronic fully automatic gearbox, fingertip controlled, which works well, brilliant overlap on the gears, and it helps to get that mighty power from the engine down to the ground. Um, all the spools, in fact, are fingertip controlled. Power comes from a mighty 450 horsepower, six-cylinder, 15-litre Cummins engine. The operator sits high up in the surveyor cab and drive is through a 16x2 parachute transmission. With all this power, it's easy to see how it storms along, churning up the rapes double. With this large set of disc arrows... ...makes an impressive sight, as this John Deere 9320T is one of a range of three crawlers with power from 375 to 485 horsepower. Based on the new 9020 series, John Deere articulated tractors from North America 
These machines compete directly with the large Caterpillar crawlers as well as the Casey National Quad Track. Unlike the Quad Track, which is an articulated machine, the John Deere 920Ts are rigid and employ only two tracks. The John Deere 375 horsepower 6 cylinder 12.5 litre engine drive its power through an automatic full power shift 18x6 transmission.